Okay, in this video we're going to look at pH, what it is, how to use it, and um, kind of how to break it down into its different parts. So what pH is, is it's the power of hydrogen. And really, it's an easier way to express our hydrogen ion concentration than by using the molarity that we used before when we looked at Kw. Um, it's kind of cumbersome, but pH um, is an easy, simple way to express how much, how many hydrogen ions are present or what the concentration of hydrogen ions are um, after the disassociation of a strong acid or a strong base. Um, and it's easy for both chemists and non-chemists alike to understand it. So remember from our last video that Kw equals the concentration of hydrogen ions times the concentration of hydroxide ions and is always going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. What this tells us that's important to pH is that the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution is always going to equal, equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And we'll see just how and why that's important in a second. So let's say we have a pH of, let's find a good color, Let's say we have a pH of 7. That's going to give us an H plus concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 7 and an OH concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 7 and a pOH concentration of 7. If I have a pH of 6, my H plus concentration is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 6. My OH concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 8, and my POH concentration is, or is 8. Or I'm sorry, my POH, not my POH concentration. My POH is 8. If I, P, if I have a pH of 3, my hydrogen concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 3. My OH concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 11, and my o, POH is 11. If I have a pH of 12, my H plus concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 12. Noticing a pattern yet? My OH concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 2. And my pOH is 2. So, as hopefully you've noticed, my pH value, whatever my pH value, my H plus concentration is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative whatever your pH value was. If your pH value is 7, your hydrogen concentration, or your H plus ion concentration rather, is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 7. Your OH, your hydroxide ion concentration, is going to be 14 minus that number. Because remember, H plus times OH minus needs to equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So 1 times 10 to the negative 7, 7 times 1 times 10 to the negative 7, when we're multiplying things in scientific notation, we add the exponents. So 1 times 10 to the negative 7 times 1 times 10 to the negative 7 equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And then this exponent is going to be equal to our pOH. And if you noticed, our pOH and our pH also equal to set, uh, sorry, also equal to 14 when we add them together. So 6 plus 8 equals 14, and our hydrogen ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 6, because that's what our pH was. And our OH, our hydroxide ion concentration, is 1 times 10 to the negative 8, because 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. And so on and so forth. So let's come up with some rules for this stuff that will help us when figuring out more problems like this. So first of all, what we noticed that the exponents oops, there we go, the exponents of our hydrogen ion concentration and our OH minus concentration add up 
to 14. Also, if you notice, as our hydrogen ion concentration increases, our OH, our hydroxide ion concentration decreases. That's also the same if my hydroxide if my hydroxide ion concentration increases, my hydrogen ion concentration is going to decrease. We also notice that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So some other handy things to remember. What pH is actually equal to? It's equal to the negative log of your hydrogen ion concentration. And remember, this is really easy to put into your calculator. You literally hit negative, then the log button, and whatever your hydrogen ion concentration is, end parentheses, and enter. So alternatively, your pOH is equal to the negative log of your O. Oops, let's make this a little neater your OH, or your hydroxide ion, concentration. But let's say you're given the pH and you need to find your hydrogen ion concentration, or you're given the pOH and you need to find your um, hydroxide ion concentration. Well, you can do that because your H+, plus, your hydrogen ion concentration, is equal to the anti-log of the negative pH. Or when you put that into your calculator, it's second log, so hit the second button, log, and then negative your pH value. Move these over here, make them a little smaller. And Conversely, your OH con concentration is equal to the anti-log. It's a little messy. The anti-log of your negative pOH value, or the second log negative pOH. So this anti-log business might not seem like it's all that big of a help when you're dealing with whole pHs, so 7 or 6 or 3 or 12, but when you have pHs that have decimals, that's when this is really going to come in handy. So let's take a look at an example. So if I have something with a pH of 7.2, and I want to find my pOH, the concentration of my H+, plus, and the concentration of my OH-. minus. That's when all this anti-log and log um, and even our water constant are going to come in handy. So to find my H plus concentration, well actually we can start off with something easy. Our pOH, remember pH plus pOH need to equal to 14. So 14 minus 7.2 equals 6.8. So my pOH is equal to 6.8. So that was pretty easy to find. But for my OH, I can't have 1 times 10 to the negative 6.8. Um, so we've got to make these whole numbers. Our exponents need to be whole numbers. So our hydrogen ion concentration, remember, is the anti-log of our negative pH. So it's the anti-log of negative 7.2, which I plug into my calculator and I'm going to erase this for, oops, I'm not going to erase it for now, just make it a little smaller, keep running in a room. So my anti-log of negative 7.2. So in my calculator, I do second log negative 7.2. And what I get is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 8. 
So that's my concentration of hydrogen ions. I can't really use that, unfortunately, to help me get my OH, so I've got to use my KW. Remember, KW1 times 10 to the negative 14 equals my H plus concentration times my OH co negative concentration, my OH ion concentration. So I know my H plus, it's 6.3 times 10 to the negative 8, but I don't know my OH concentration, so I divide both sides by 6.3 times 10 to the negative 8, and I'm going to get an OH concentration, an OH ion concentration, equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 7th. Okay? So let's try one more of these. Let's clear out some of this junk. So let's try one more. Let's say I have a pH. Can you hear Barkley in the background? He really wants to be learning chemistry too. So pH is equal to 10.7. So we'll start with the easy stuff. pOH plus pH equals 14. So 14 minus 10.7 equals 3.3. So that's easy. Now our hydrogen, we'll get a little harder, our H plus, our hydrogen ion concentration equals our anti-log negative pH. So when I plug that into my calculator, I do negative, or I'm sorry, second log negative 10 to the 10.7. So second log negative 10.7. And what I get is 2, or I round to 2 times 10 to the negative 11th. Now to find my OH concentration, I set up my equation 1 times 10 to the negative 14 equals 2 times 10 to the negative 11, right, because this is my KW, this is my H plus concentration times my OH negative concentration. And then when I do the math, I get 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 2 times 10 to the negative 11. And I end up with 5.01 times 10 to the negative fourth, which is my OH negative concentration. Okay, and that's how you can use any one of these components. So the pH, the pOH, the hydrogen ion concentration, the hydroxide ion concentration to find the other three. Um, just remember your, have this Memorize that pH equals your negative log of H plus, your pOH equals the negative log of OH minus, your H plus equals the anti-log of negative pH, and your OH minus concentration equals the anti-log of your negative pOH, and that your pH plus pOH equal 14, and your water constant, your KW equals your hydrogen ion concentration times your hydroxide ion concentration, which always must equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And then it doesn't matter what piece we give you, you can find the other three.